Okay, it's probably best if I leave this to professionals. So let's dive down the rabbit hole of ASMR videos. Are they a children's wonderland or a parental concern? But what exactly is ASMR? Well, it's kind of like what I just did here with the slime. The theory is that simple sounds like whispers, tapping and rustling with paper and yes, even slime can bring a sense of calm and wonder. That's the realm of ASMR or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which is a term coined in 2010 by Jennifer Allen. However, the experience itself described as a tingling sensation triggered by specific auditory and visual stimuli has likely been around for much, much longer. The online community began to take notice of ASMR in the late 2000s, with forums and videos dedicated to this unique sensory phenomenon. Since then, ASMR has grown into a global trend, capturing the fascination and relaxation of many, including children. So why are kids getting into this? Well, there's a ton of ASMR videos online catering for kids. Many of them are brightly colored with slime, glitter and Orbeez all over the place. But the allure of ASMR for kids lies in its potential to soothe and calm. But it's not just about the physical response. For children, especially, the gentle, nurturing tones often found in ASMR ASMR videos can provide a sense of security and comfort. However, it's not all gentle whispers and soothing sounds. As with anything online, there are risks and concerns, particularly when it involves younger, more impressionable viewers. While ASMR can be a wonderful resource for relaxation, us parents need to be aware of the potential risks. The world online of the online content is vast and not all of it is child friendly. ASMR in its essence is not sexual. It's intended to be a soothing sensory experience. However, the way it's sometimes portrayed can raise concerns, especially for younger audiences. Many ASMR artists are young women and that's not bad in itself at all. But there's a growing trend where the same creators who make ASMR content also produce sexualized ASMR content on other platforms like OnlyFans, for instance. This content crossover can blur the lines for viewers, particularly kids who may accidentally stumble upon more adult themed content. Many creators maintain a clear separation between their ASMR work and any adult content they may produce elsewhere. But the internet's interconnected nature means that one can sometimes lead to the other, even by accident. This is not to discredit the ASMR community as a whole, which includes lots of creators dedicated to producing wholesome, child-friendly content. However, there's always a chance that children might actually stumble upon inappropriate or unsettling material disguised as ASMR. There is also the very unsettling mukbang ASMR trend. This is where creators eat large amounts of food while making ASMR sounds. On the surface, it might seem harmless or just entertaining even, but there is a deeper concern here, especially for kids. Mukbang ASMR videos often showcase overeating, a lot of overeating. And this can, this can send mixed signals to our kids about healthy eating habits. Watching somebody indulge in huge quantities of food might be mesmerizing, but it doesn't exactly set a great example when we are trying to teach our kids about balanced diets and healthy eating habits. Then there's the addictive nature of ASMR. Yes, these videos can be incredibly relaxing and soothing, but there's a thin line between a healthy habit and an addiction. The repetitive and soothing nature of ASMR content could lead our kids to depend on them for relaxation and even falling asleep, rather than learning to do this on their own. And also the way YouTube's algorithm works means that once a child starts watching ASMR videos, they're likely to be recommended more of the same. And this can create a cycle that is quite hard to break. This is where effective parental guidance actually comes in. To safeguard our kids, we should pre-screen any ASMR channels and videos ourselves, rather than relying solely on algorithm-driven suggestions or platforms' content filters. YouTube has definitely become a lot better at 
filtering our content that's not child friendly on YouTube Kids. But if our kids watch on our profiles, then those filters are not in place. Then of course, we also need reliable parental controls. Look, I know I say this every single time, but we have to monitor what our kids are actually accessing online. We have a duty of care to do this as their parents. Do you remember in the old days, before the online streaming and the internet, when our parents would take us to a video store and we would stumble into one of those aisles with adult content, they would quickly whisk us away back to the family-friendly aisle with a stern talking to about why we shouldn't be venturing into those aisles. Well, these days, we still need to be having those conversations with our kids but we also need some help to be able to monitor them and set them on the right course. And this is where FamiSafe actually comes into play. FamiSafe allows parents to track and manage what their kids are watching online. You can filter out inappropriate content, set viewing time limits, and block content based upon keywords, or even block entire websites. If you're concerned that your kids are spending too much time watching ASMR videos, then you can set up the FamiSafe controls to limit their screen time with just a couple of clicks. It's so easy. Aside from using tools like FamiSafe, having these talks with our kids is a key part of our guidance strategy. We need to talk with them about what they're watching and try to understand their interests and guide them toward more suitable content. Even better, we can create a playlist together and talk about why they enjoy watching ASMR. Maybe they're seeking comfort in these videos because there is something missing from their real life interactions. Or maybe they're feeling particularly stressed about something, maybe school or their personal life. Either way, talking to them about their reasons in a non-judgmental way can help us help them to nurture the bond between us. Look, ASMR videos can still be a magical world for children, offering unique benefits like relaxation and stress relief all good things. However, you have to remember that it's not without its risks, like many things these days. I'm going to drop a link into the description for you to head over to FamiSafe website to take a look at the features of the FamiSafe app, maybe even try it out for yourself. But other than that, I would love to hear from you. Have you got an experience with ASMR? Do you watch ASMR or maybe your kids? What do you think about this trend? If you have anything that you'd like to share, write it down into the comments. Other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.